Hello everyone, it's Gina at Art of Skin Care, just getting ready to start our live today. Welcome to our Tuesday morning live. Today I want to spend some time talking about pores, and in particular droopy pores, and kind of what are the contributing factors to that, because there's a lot of misconceptions about what causes the pores to droop and about what to do about it. So I wanna to touch on that this morning and then I'm gonna dive into what we have in the reward center as far as our free gifts this month. We have a wonderful selection and many of them are geared towards that issue of droopy pores. They're um, all about firming the pores, um, brightening the skin, uh, really getting that skin looking great. So we're gonna go over some of those gifts First thing that we want to do is talk about um, pore size. Okay, I'm gonna check in with Ben here. Are we doing good, Ben? I've got all kinds of screens going. <laughs> I think we're good. Am I live over there? You yes. can tell on yours? Okay, good, good. There's comments. Comments loaded. All right, we are all good to go. So let's dive in there. Let's talk about pores. So many people can notice different times in their life or different times of the year where their pores just kind of look saggy or droopy. And there's a couple of things that contribute to that. Number one being dehydration. There's a couple ways that we can cause dehydration in the skin that's gonna make those pores droop. So a lot of times when people start to see their pores, they think, oh, I need to use more acids. I need to use a stronger toner. I need to get some peel pads on there. And sometimes that can be helpful, but many times what happens when you do that is you further dehydrate the skin. And when the skin is dehydrated, it causes this sagging, sagging of all the tissues. Oftentimes when I see a client in their 30s and 40s and we're seeing premature sagging of the skin, it's because of dehydration. So one of the first aspects I'll look at with a client when I'm seeing those droopy pores is what, are, what kind of things have you been doing about it? Have you been putting on a lot of acids or acid serums and things to try and, and tone those pores? Another thing that people do and they don't realize is contributing to this loss of firmness and sagging is they use heavy oils or they use a, an oil cleanser. Nut oils and oil cleansers do not hydrate the skin. So our skin is made up of mostly <coughs> Excuse me, we have allergy season going here in California. Um, nut oils occlude the skin. So when you use an oil to cleanse the skin, it's nice to do as a first cleanse because an oil can go in there and mix with your oils. And then if it's a nice hydrophilic oil, when you put water on it, that water is gonna pull that oil up out of the skin along with your cellular debris and your cellular oil so that your skin is cleaner. However, your skin is mostly made up of water, so your skin needs water. So do an oil cleanse, that's fine, but make sure you're still cleansing twice a day with a water-based cleanser, particularly a light gel, um, a gentle gel cleanser, morning and night. Many people tell me that, well, I don't like to wash my face in the morning because my skin's too dry and it just dries me out. That could be happening if you're using too drying of a cleanser. However, washing your face in the morning is the number one thing that you can do to rehydrate your skin. So we wanna put water in the skin. When we cleanse the skin, we break that surface tension with the gel and then the water can actually permeate and get into the skin. And then when we rinse and we put on our serums and our moisturizer, the skin can really suck those up and get really well fed at that point. When we use an oil cleanser, and especially if we're using one that doesn't rinse completely off the skin, we're leaving this layer of oil over the skin and water cannot get through that. And what your skin needs is water. So many people who are on an, an oil type routine, maybe they like using um, instead of moisturizers, they're using oils, or maybe you're using an oil base, an oil serum on your skin, and in particular, nut oils. And what you'll find is that when you do that, 
you are not allowing, allowing water moisture into the skin. So before you ever put an oil on, you wanna make sure that you're cleansing with a gentle water-based cleanser then you're putting on water hydrating serums and moisturizers. So what kind of things will attract water into the skin? Well, we know glycerin is a fantastic. Vitamin C is an excellent um, ingredient to attract water. Hyaluronic acid attracts water into the skin and water-based moisturizers will bring water to the skin. Then if you wanna have that, um, that extra protection to keep water from escaping from your skin, you can use something that has the lipids in it. At Art of Skin Care, I still don't like to use nut oils on the skin because they cause so many breakouts and clogged pores and problems like that, but I like to use either light seed oils or Neogenesis Barrier Renewal, something that will prevent that transepidermal water loss but without clogging the skin. So we wanna feed the skin lots of water-based nutrients and then we can put some lipids over the top of that to help hold them in. So that's a really important concept to understand when we're talking about drooping pores or premature sagging of the skin. The water is so important. And of course, it goes without saying, right? You've got to drink lots of water every day. And I'm the worst at that. And I really see it in the texture of my skin when I'm not drinking enough water during the day. So I'm gonna dive in now to our gifts each month at artofskincare.com, we have special reward gifts that you can use your points. You get a point for every dollar that you spend at Art of Skin Care, and then each month we have different gifts that come in that you can purchase with those reward points. And I know some of you have a lot of points out there, so I hope I can inspire you with some of these fun things that I chose for your pores and for just the health of your skin this month. So let's start out, first of all, we have in the reward center, we have a My Skin Buddy. The My Skin Buddy is an excellent tool for cleansing and also for driving water-based ingredients into the skin. So driving those water-based serums into the skin. Now, I sometimes have people who are confused about how to use this for cleansing. Um, so I'm gonna actually show you that. I'm gonna do it on my hand for you. This month in the reward center, I put the pomegranate antioxidant cleanser. In there this is a fabulous cleanser see if I can put it up where you guys can actually read it there we go pomegranate antioxidant cleanser it's a creamy cleanser that is acne safe it actually rinses completely from the skin so it's fabulous you can use this as a daily cleanser one of my favorite things to do for the pores is to take this cleanser and mix it with skin scripts let's see if we can get that focus on there it's focusing on me instead, but in front of my face. There we go. Skin Skip Glycolic Cleanser. So when you mix pomegranate and glycolic, you can do that once a week, and it'll give you a really nice deep pore cleanse without over drying your skin. So today I'm gonna to put on a bit of pomegranate. You can also buy these nice pumps. These pumps um, don't come with the bottle, but you can purchase them at Artist Skin Care and it makes using, especially the pomegranate, easier to get out of the bottle. I'm gonna put a little bit on there. I'm going to add a little bit of glycolic. You can tell these are new. Gotta prime the pumps, there we go. I can mix these two together and it has a beautiful slip on the skin. Then I can grab my, uh-oh looking for a towel. Hold on everybody, I have to go get a towel. <laughs> it's always something I forget. Okay, gotta have a towel for my hands. So, I have just mixed those together and rubbed them onto my hand. Now I can take my My Skin Buddy, I'm gonna turn it on the first setting, and I can use that to work this into my skin. This uses ultrasonic vibrations to actually lift up the impurities out of the skin. Now you could use this with just pomegranate cleanser or you can use it with the combination of both. It smells so good. I love it, it smells really fresh and clean. I'm gonna turn it off. Now a few times I've had people reach out to me and say, 
I have trouble using the My Skin Buddy with my cleanser because my cleanser dries up so fast on my face. So I want to tell people who have that issue is you may need to pick up a cleanser that has more slip to it and a bit more foaming action to it. So what you can do is reach out to our live chat and they can tell you some of the other cleansers. But the way you want to do it is I just put the glycolic cleanser in. I just wanted to grab a gel cleanser. So here's a gel cleanser in my hand. I'm going to go like this. This is dry. And see how it gently foams up in my hands. Then I rub it onto my skin, my face. Then I take water and I add water to it. And that's what gives it that really nice slip so that I can do it all over my face until it dries. Um, if it starts to dry in, then you're done. Just get some water and rinse your face. Use a lush cloth to rinse your face. And it works really well. I think that the trick is, is that you've got to first emulsify that cleanser in your hands on dry hands, add it to your face, then get your hands wet and really foam it up and then use your My Skin Buddy and it works beautifully. I'm going to rinse my hands. So another thing you can do, if you have that pomegranate and you have the glycolic, you can apply them to your face, leave it on for two to five minutes. Um, that will really get down, the glycolic will really drive the creamy cleanser into the pores and it really helps to debride the pores, get them clean, um, and really tone the skin. It also really brightens the skin. Glycolic acid is just a really um, natural brightener. The unfortunate thing about glycolic acid is it can be drying, so that's why it's nice to mix it with that pomegranate cleanser to give yourself that weekly deep clean that you want to do. So pomegranate antioxidant cleanser is in the reward center today, this month, the month of April. The next thing I want to show you guys is recovery serum. How many of you love this stuff? Well, this is in our reward center this month. This is unheard of. We very rarely get this in the reward center. So you can get it in the reward center for the month of April. Recovery serum is that serum that you put on first before any other serum that you put on. It's got those amazing stem cell cytokines. It's really going to nourish the skin, nourish your skin at a cellular level so they can be healthier, plumper, more beautiful. So love that. Love that that's in there, so be sure and check that out. Now the other serum that I have in there this month is for your pores. It's also an antioxidant, so it's for your entire face. This is from Hale & Hush. There we go. Hale & Hush, it's the Rare C Serum. Rare C Serum is a vitamin C serum, so it's gonna add water hydration to the skin, but the special thing about this particular vitamin C serum is that it reduces inflammation. So a lot of times the pores will look larger because they're a little bit swollen all over, especially if you have more sensitive skin, rosacea skin types, those pores can get a bit swollen. So when you put on a rare C serum, it's very firming. It actually takes that inflammation away from the pores so that the pores look much flatter and smaller. So rare C serum, special treat in there this month. Another thing that I put in that's pretty fun, not for really sensitive skin, but you know, a little bit sensitive and up is fine. Super sensitive, probably not so great, but these are the Is Clinical um, Active Peel System. So we put one set. Normally you buy a box of these and you get enough to do the peel every other day for 30 days. We're giving away one peel set so that you can try it out. You use number one, it comes on a little wipey pad. You're gonna wipe that all over your face let it dry, and then you put on step two and rub that all over and let it dry. Don't rinse, and then put on a moisturizer. This gives you a really nice light exfoliation without over drying the skin. So I love those. Um, the, next, the next wonderful thing that I chose for you guys is from Sorella Apothecary. Put it right in front of my face so it can, there, so you can read it. Sorella Apothecary, this is the honey, peach and honey mask. So this is loaded with all kinds of really natural fruit enzymes and acids. So it's got peach, apple, lemon, sugar cane, all those really natural plant acids mixed into a base of honey. 
So this gives you a really nice light exfoliation that really firms the pores, brightens the skin. At the same time, it really plumps and hydrates the skin and it smells just fantastic. This little reward comes with the brush. It says Sorella on the brush. Oop, there you go. And they come together. You can use this weekly. You could use it twice a week. Um, it smells and feels amazing. I'm so happy for you guys to be able to try this in the reward center this month. Okay, final thing. Oh no, we have a couple more things to show you that are in the rewards. The next thing is Sport Shield. This is called Clear Choice Sport Shield. It's a 45. This is our acne safe sunscreen and it is amazing. So a lot of people get afraid of the name because it says Sport Shield. I mean, I don't. Personally, I wouldn't probably be too excited about a sunscreen to use every day that said Sport Shield on it. I would think, oh, that sounds like it's gonna smell, that sounds like it's gonna be too thick and heavy. This does not do that at all. I wish I could change the name on this product because it goes on silky and light. It blends in every skin tone. It, it, black skin, it just blends in beautifully. Non-chemical sunscreen. Um, it's a zinc sunscreen and really good price point and it's excellent. We've been using this for the last year. We've been using this with all of our acne clients and they're loving it. It can also be mixed with your foundation. You can mix it with the Luminaire foundation um, and that's really beautiful together. Okay, one more thing before I dive into questions. One more thing in the reward center and this is a little reward, but it's a nice one. This is from Seam. This is their magic serum and it's a really cute little bottle. It's nice for traveling. I'll pull it, pull it out here so you can see it. Magic serum. I know the opening picture for this in the newsletter today showed me with the big bottle. You don't get the big bottle free this month, but you get this nice sample size bottle and I love this. You just, I use about five drops and I massage it onto my hair because I think a lot of people have this no matter what your hair color is, you can have a problem with the hair color getting kind of dull. But in particular, when you hit my age at 59 and you've got a lot of gray coming in there, your skin, your hair starts losing its pigment and it gets kind of dull. It loses its shine. Well, this magic serum puts that shine right back into your hair and it makes my hair, it makes my gray look like I have silver highlights. It makes them very shiny and beautiful. I love it. When my hair gets a little frizzy or dry on the ends, I just use a bit on the ends and it just forms my curls nicely and makes them shiny again. The nice thing about this and why I chose it for this month is because we're talking about pores. And one of the areas that can be a real pore problem is the forehead because so many people use these kind of oils but they're nut oils or they're argon oil and they clog the pores. So then they end up with clogged pores and bumps all over their forehead. This is seed oils. This will not clog your pores. It will not cause any breakouts. So it's the perfect thing to use on your hair that won't cause droopy or congested pores. So those are our rewards for this month. There'll be some other ones. Um, we have a couple more things that are just arriving. We just um, have them in the warehouse. We haven't quite got them onto the website yet. We have a couple more gifts, so be sure to go and check in there. Always, when you are checking out, just make it a habit to always go to the reward center and grab some things. You can never get two of the same item, but you can get multiple items. As long as you have enough reward points, you can shop and get multiple items. Um, in that order. So always go there and get some things. Get those Lush cloths in there. I um, also want to touch base a little bit on Lush cloths because we had a little bit of concern because you know first we had white Lush cloths, then we had charcoal color wash cloths, and now we're back to white wash cloths so they're a little bit smaller. And I want to tell you guys the reason that's happening is we're having um, problems with our supply and we're, we're not able to get the larger white ones that we were getting and so we switched over to the charcoal. Now we can't get the charcoal, so we switched to just a slightly smaller size white one. But as soon as we can, and as soon as supply catches up with the demand, we will go back to the bigger, 
the bigger white ones or charcoal ones. We have a few customers who said, oh, I just want the charcoal now. I don't want white anymore. And then other people are saying, I just want the white. So we need to have a vote. We'll probably do that on our Art of Skin Care Insiders on Facebook. If you go and join our Insiders group, we'll probably put up a poll there where people can vote on what size Lush Cloth and what color Lush Cloth they like best. So we can try and please everybody with that. So, okay, let's dive in and let's see. Um, okay, I've got some questions coming in. Oh, Ben can hop on this one. Ben, it says the Neogenesis Skin Serum is in rewards, not recovery. That would be a mistake. That would be an error. Ben, if you could reach out to Celine and have her fix that for us, or she can message me back before the end of this live and make, maybe I'm wrong and I have the wrong thing, but we need to find out if the Rewards Center should have the Recovery Serum or Skin Serum in there because either I did something wrong or somebody loading the website did something wrong. We'll get it figured out. Thanks, Chris, for pointing that out. We have so much going on. So we have this very exciting news coming up because we are actually in the process of revamping the website so that it'll have better um, ways for you guys to navigate and find just the products you want. For instance, you'll be on the new website, you're gonna be able to go to moisturizers and then select by skin type. Say, and you just want acne safe and say you have dry skin, you'll be able to mark those and it'll actually show you just those moisturizers that are for dry skin and that are acne safe. So we're super excited about that, but as you know, anytime you do anything on computers and all that, it takes some time. So we've, we're now delayed by about a month, but in the next couple of weeks, that's gonna be happening, but it is making it so we're all a little bit crazy at Art of Skin Care right now, and sometimes things are a little awkward on the website as we're making that transition. So be patient with us. Good things are coming. Uh, Jenny wants to know, how do I know I'm using water-based cleanser? I should know, but I don't. Okay, so one way that you can know, Jenny, is by looking at the bottle and going to the very first ingredient. So here's glycolic cleanser. It says the very first ingredient is aqua. So you know that that's water. Here we go to the pomegranate antioxidant cleanser. The very first ingredient is also aqua. Um, if it's an oil-based product, you will see oil up in the first three ingredients. And so it's not on these, but on this pomegranate antioxidant, I should have glasses on so I can read it better for you guys, but um, there is a fair amount of oil in this one. So it is the fourth ingredient. The fourth ingredient in here is a seed oil. So this does have a little higher oil content, but it's still considered water-based. I hope that helps answer that question. Moisturizers, you know, if you have a moisturizer that in the first top ingredient says shea butter, um, that's not an oil, that's not a water-based product. That, and that will be oil-based product. Um, thinking of anything else, um, you know, any of your oil serums would be a problem. Most eye creams, most moisturizers, most of those are gonna be water-based. If you don't know and you're just confused, just reach out to artistskincare.com, live chat and say, hey, is this water-based or not? Okay, uh, Lorena wants to know, I use my rewards for the Sorella mask. Can't wait until I receive it. Yay, Lorena, I'm so happy for you. I'm so excited about having this mask in there that I've been using it every week. It's, I have so many products, you know, at Artist Skin Care that I can forget about things. So when I was going through and picking products for this, I went, oh, peach and honey, I haven't used that in a few months. So I'm excited to have it too. Jenny says, happy birthday to me. Thank you so much, Jenny. And Joseph says, how long until your website will be up and running? I wish I could tell you, Joseph. Every week it just gets pushed out a little further. Um, he's saying, I cannot keep track of my orders and the items you select for me per the custom protocol. <sighs> I'm not sure if the new website will be able to help you with that. The new website would definitely show you past orders. I do know um, that within the first six months, we are going to have a better dashboard for you, Joseph, so that you will actually be able to go in and see, like you're mentioning, see your protocol. When you log into your account, you'll be able to see the protocols 
that I have made for you and you can click on which one you want. And we have that coming. I'm not sure that it's gonna be ready for you on launch date, but it is in that phase two of the website. We really, I'm really excited to uh, perfect my protocols that I do for you guys and make them easier for you to get to. So that'll be great. Jeanette says, happy birthday. Thank you, Jeanette. Celine says, whoops, Gina misspoke. <laughs> oh, darn it. I got you guys all excited to get recovery and his skin serum in the reward center. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm going to have to work with Celine and work on getting recovery now as a future month <laughs> as a reward gift. But it is skin serum. And let me tell you, why would you want, how would you choose between recovery and skin serum? So skin serum has less of the stem cell cytokines, but it's more hydrating. So it really goes with my whole theme, actually. It makes sense to why I chose it. It goes with that theme of putting more water moisture into the skin. So you put on your skin serum and then you'll put on your Rare C on top of it and or vice versa. I really have no problem with applying Rare C first because it's lighter and then putting on the skin serum on top of it. Skin serum is gonna help with your skin health. It's gonna help with breakouts, healing, rosacea, aging, everything. Many of our clients, um, our acne clients use skin serum because it's really gonna speed up the healing and help prevent that scarring and heal whatever scarring that they have. So skin serum is in the reward center. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. Joseph says, happy birthday to me and my husband. We do share the same birthday, except he's one year older than I am, so he gets to always try it out first. And yes, it's Taco Tuesday. We love that. Um, Parvin says, happy birthday. I'm so grateful for you for sharing all your knowledge and experience. Oh, thank you, Parvin. Thank you so much, Jenny. Sarah says, hi, Gina. Great color on you. How can I use Neogenesis and Emma Pell to help treat melasma on cheeks? Meaning, is there AHA I can add to those two? I want to wear vitamin C too. Okay, so Sarah, I've been working on my Emma Pell protocol for people with hyperpigmentation because I have melasma. Uh, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks. And if I go out in the sun, if I get hot, if I get on my spin bike indoors and get hot and red, I contribute. <laughs> I stimulate more hyperpigmentation. And so in the summer months, um, it's really important to use products on your skin that are anti-inflammatory, but that will also support um, brightening the skin. So with when you have, like I do, a melasma, there are certain serums that I have found that work really well together in the summer months at minimizing the hyperpigmentation. So when you're on the Emma Pell system, normally you use Emma Pell serum in the morning, and then you use Emma Pell night cream at night. Now, Emma Pell serum is your vitamin C serum. So you can keep using that as your vitamin C serum during the day. What I layer on top of that is lemon lightning um, from Sorella. And then I layer on top of that, I'm gonna have to write this down for you guys, or actually I'll give it to the live chat. You can reach out to them for Gina's and the Pell Summer Protocol. I'll get it written up today. Give us a little time because it'll take me an hour or so to get it done. So you will put on your Emma Pell Serum. Then you're gonna put on Lemon Lightning from Sorella. And then I put on Rhonda Allison's Luminous Wine Gel as my moisturizer. Luminous Wine Gel has specific ingredients that um, turn off those hormone producing melanocytes. No, melanocytes that are stimulated by hormones. <laughs> See if I get that right. So that it's gonna help decrease that hormone reaction that causes the hyperpigmentation in the skin. So I have been doing that. The other thing that you can do, well, the other thing, let me go back here a little bit. So Emma Pell in the morning, that's your vitamin C serum. Emma Pell at night is your retinol serum. It's your retinol cream. So in the summer months, I do not use retinol on my skin because um, the skin, hyperpigmentation is a inflammatory disorder. 
and retinols can be drying and they can increase inflammation when you're out in the sun during the summertime. So I'm gonna use my MMPEL cream in the summer months, I'm only gonna use it once a week. And so what I've been doing is I use my MMPEL serum, which is that vitamin C serum, I'm gonna use that at night, six nights a week. Seventh night, I'm gonna use my MMPEL night cream. And then during the day, I'm gonna do my brightening protocol. And so what that looks like, it's a little different than the first one I told you. So if you want to use your MMPEL serum at night instead of in the morning, what you would do is you put on Rhonda Allison, you can put on her Vitabright Elixir or her Stem Cell C. I go back and forth between those two. And then I put on the Lemon Lightning from Sorella. And then I put on my moisturizer, which is the Luminous Wine Gel from Rhonda Allison. And these are all very light. So I'm layering light hydrating serums onto my skin. And then I'm gonna put on Neogenesis Barrier Renewal. And the reason I put that on is because Barrier Renewal has this perfect balance of lipids to prevent transepidermal water loss. So I wanna put on all those water-loving serums, then put that Barrier Renewal on top to protect it all and keep my skin healthy and keep all that moisture in the skin. So, skin that gets hyperpigmentation, if it gets dry, it gets, it get, that also stimulates hyperpigmentation. So keeping that oil balance perfect, that's why I love that barrier renewal on top of everything. Keeping everything moist is gonna be super important for you throughout the um, summer months. So I'm gonna write up both those routines and have them available for you guys today. Um, let's call it um, Emma Pell Melasma Routine. So you know what to ask for. There's several different routines now uh, that my live chat team has for you. They can give you the PDF for. This will be the Emma Pell Melasma protocol from Gina. And I'll include, in that protocol, I'll include having Emma Pell as your AM serum. And I'll also include the other variation of having it as your nighttime serum. So then you can choose. Some days you might want to use Emapel as your daytime serum, especially if you're not going to be out in the sun as much. Um, if I'm indoors during the day, I might put on my Emapel serum, my lemon lightning, and my luminous wine gel. But on those days when I'm outdoors with the kids all day, I'm going bike riding, I'm playing tennis, that's when I'm going to make sure I'm putting on either Rhonda Allison Stem Bright, Stem C, or the Vitabrite elixir. Those I will use in place of Emma Pell on those days when I'm really going to be out there in the sun and pushing the envelope. <laughs> okay, so that was a long answer for there. Um, Jenny Cabot says, do you like Dr. Este vitamin C serum? I do like that vitamin C serum, um, especially for those who are 45 and under, and especially if you are blemish prone. Um, and you need some brightening and a lot of hydrating, that is an excellent hydrating vitamin C serum. If you are over 45, generally I'm gonna put you on Emma Pell serum because we're gonna go after the collagen loss due to the changes in your hormones and aging. Yes, you're right. She says that um, the Dr. Estee vitamin C is actually an ampule. Yes, it is an ampule. And then, um, and you know what? While you're on that, while you mentioned that, Dr. Este Vitamin C Ampule, that is the perfect kind of real juicy, um, watery, has a lot of hyaluronic acid. That's a perfect serum to use with your My Skin Buddy to drive in the other serums because it's got a nice slip to it. So you could put on all your serums in that serum and use the My Skin Buddy to drive it in. So that'll work really well. Sarah wants to know, how long do you wait between all those serum steps? Not long. So generally, I'm putting, I put on recovery serum, so I'm gonna put on my recovery serum and let it dry. If you're using something like Rare C, vitamin C serum, you might put on, just let it dry just till the skin's not wet anymore. It's not very long, a minute or two, and then put on your next serum. So I'm just putting on one, I use a lot of, tap potent to work it into my skin, give it a moment or two, and then I'm putting on the next one. It really doesn't take that long. Okay, we worked through all the questions. 
I love it. Okay, I'm going to put out the last chance to um, last chance to throw up some questions at me. Anything about pores? Do you have some questions about pores? Um, blackheads, deep cleansing the skin, dehydration. Let me know if you have some questions about any of those things before we end and I take off for my Taco Tuesday. Sarah says, would you recommend as the first two products to introduce to postmenopausal skin? What would you recommend? So, yeah, uh, two products. I would say I would grab Neogenesis Recovery Serum and I would grab Emma Pell. I don't, oh, here it is. These are the two products that I really attribute the health of my skin to. A few of you have reached out to me and said, you know, Gina, over the last two years, your skin looks better than it did. And I really noticed the difference too. And the difference was Neogenesis Recovery and the Emma Pell system really was a game changer for my skin. So those two, to me, are the most important things you can get in. Um, over the age of 45 all the way up to the age of 80. In the beginning when we first started using Emma Pell, we just thought, well, you start at 45, but what if you put somebody who's 75 on Emma Pell? Will it do any good? So we had clients who were saying, I'm willing to test it. I'll try it. And we've had great results. And you can see those in some of our testimonials and our blog and stuff. We are seeing really great results. Um, for people all the way through age 80 using the Emma Pell system. It's not too late to go back and recover some of that lost collagen and to stop that loss. You see, when we hit menopause, we the first five years, we lose 30% of our collagen, and then we lose 2% per year after that. So the Emma Pell system is all about going back and helping us retrieve that lost collagen and slowing down so we're not losing so much. Um, every year after that. I've got a note from Ben. Let's see what it says. Kimmy's question. I missed somebody. Let me go up here and find it. Here it is. Kimmy wants to know, what else can we use if you don't have a skin buddy? Okay, so if you don't have a skin buddy, um, for cleansing, you're going to do, you can check out my videos. Go and look for my video on my three minute detox cleanse because everybody should be doing that at least once a day. And with that, you're cleansing the skin for three minutes. You can see I use my knuckles, I do a lot of massage up and down, back and forth, lymphatic drainage, and so I'm using my knuckles to really get that cleansing action happening. Now, when it comes to your serums and driving them in, if you pick up the Lemieux Isocell Recovery Solution, once you put on all your serums, you can mist your skin with Isocell Recovery Solution and then use your tap hope mint. Pat it into your skin. Just It's pressing it down into the skin all over. We've done studies around Isocell Recovery Solution. We tried putting it on first before the serum to see if it enhanced serum penetration because we thought that would be good. What we discovered is that if you put it on after your serums, your serums will penetrate much better. So put on all your serums, then put on your Isocell Recovery Solution and use your Tap Hope Mint. The other one that people like to use is that Neogenesis Moisturizing Mist. You could also use the Moisturizing Mist, use your Tap Hope Mint and really pat it down into the skin. That would be the hand, <laughs> the hand method without using the My Skin Buddy. But otherwise, this is a great opportunity right now to go get a My Skin Buddy um, on the Reward Center because you can just get them with your points. So get those. Okay, so I got Kimmy. I'm gonna come back down here. Kimmy says, thank you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're gonna tell me um, where I'm at, Ben. It's Sherry. After I'm on Sherry. Sherry. There's Kimmy. And we got Sarah already? We did. Okay, so I went Sherry. Thank you. Um, do you have an MFL protocol for acne prone oily skin with Texas heat? With that situation, what I would do, especially through the summer, is um, Sherry, use the MFL serum as your nighttime serum. 
you know, it's not a heavy serum and it's not an oily serum, but it definitely has a bit more to it and it might not, you'll have to experiment and see, you know, we're in California, we don't have the humidity that you have. So some things that we really like here, you guys hate and vice versa. A lot of things that you love, we just find it's too matte, it's too drying. So probably though, what you're gonna wanna do is use it, your Emapel serum at night. And then during the daytime, we can use some other serums with you. Um, the Rare C would be an excellent serum for you. Um, Sorella's Main Squeeze, that's a really wonderful oil balancing, um, hydrating serum that you could use. So there's some different things that you could use during the day. I highly recommend reaching out and doing a custom protocol. It's only $30 at Art of Skin Care. You go to protocols and, um, no, go to consultations, then go to custom protocol for $30 and just tell them that you want the Emma Pell and that you have oily skin and we will put together a protocol just especially for you. And that way I can get my eyes on your skin and kind of see what other little issues might be going on for you. Okay, um, next one. Hi, Valentina. I have Rose. She says, I've been using almond and nut-based oils on my body, so is this really not serving me at all? My problem with the almond and nut-based oils is they don't allow your skin to breathe. So if you're doing dry brushing, you know, to try and exfoliate, because our, our body, right, is that biggest organ of detoxification, and if you're putting a nut oil on your body, that's gonna stop, um, it's gonna hinder that detoxification process. So if you could find sea buckthorn oil or uh, pomegranate seed oil, some of those other kinds of oils that are seed oils, that would be better for your body. Um, we often get away with using those oils on our body because we don't get breakouts as much on the body. But anybody who puts those oils on their face, they know their, skin, their pores immediately start to sag within days, and many times people get breakouts from that. Sophie says, can you put Hydrotox Serum over the Sorella Lemon Lightning Serum? Absolutely you can. Yep, you sure can. And Joseph says, are there any newer products you would recommend to replace the skin smoothing gel for the pores around the nose? Yes, I have a new one that you would really like to check out, Joseph. Um, and part of this system will be in the reward center coming up. We have from um, one of our organic companies called Pure Herb. It's made by Lemieux. They have a caviar lime cleansing foam that you will fall in love with. There will be a small bottle of it coming into the reward center probably by the end of the week. And that same line, there is an exfoliant. It comes in these little jars, these little ampule bottles and it's called, I think it's something like caviar lime exfoliate, like X-P-H-O-L-I-A-T-E, exfoliate. Joseph, you will love those. So you can spot treat with that serum, that ampule, just in the areas where you're having the problem or on, I use it on my dark pigment or around my nose if my nose is getting congested. Um, or you can use them over your whole face. Or maybe during the day you spot treat with it, and then at night you put that exfoliant over your whole face, and then put your other serums on. It's really fun, so check that out. Okay, Jenny says, um, she loves the great free samples with every order. They are so good all the time, yay, I'm glad you love those. Um, Paula says, just got on sorry at the airport. <laughs> Let's see, and then I just lost you. It just scrolled up, so let me find you back. Here we go. Um, can you use Emma Pell cream at night, every night in the summer? So yeah, you missed out on that. I'll just repeat it real quick, is that in the summertime, we cut back. I only use it one time a week in the summertime, and in the summertime, I'm doing my Emma Pell serum at night, and then I'm using my brightening products during the day. But if you don't have hyperpigmentation, then you can just keep using your Emma Pell serum during the day, but then cut back on your night cream and just use it once or twice a week. You know, it'll really depend on your skin fragility or strength. Chris says, I use my Time Master Pro, was thinking my skin buddy would be redundant and best for younger people. I'm 49, is my thinking right? So, Time Master Pro does something completely different than the My Skin Buddy. Um, 
but it's wonderful. They're both wonderful. For instance, Time Master Pro, you cannot use that for cleansing your face. <laughs> You'll ruin it. Um, what we do have that's more comparable to Time Master Pro um, or comparable to My Skin Buddy for those 45 and over is the MBK Wave. The MBK Wave is a more sophisticated form of the My Skin Buddy and it has more adjustments, more settings, and um, the light on it is more advanced. So if you kind of want a, a grown up My Skin Buddy, it would be the MBK Wave. And then the MSB, yeah, that's that introductory tool that I get most everybody on, and especially the younger people, um, anyone, anyone can use it. I have, I have clients in their 70s who have an MSB and love it. Um, so the MSB is really for every age, and it does not do the same things that the TMP does. It's not going to do the, the plumping that the TMP does. The TMP is the, that instant plumper because it's doing all that stimulation that really gets all the liquids and everything in the skin moving and plumping. So the difference, so your My Skin Buddy or your Wave is what you can use with cleansing. So it's gonna enhance your cleansing. It's gonna enhance um, serum penetration and it's gonna enhance the hydration in your skin. So the, M, um, the My Skin Buddy and the Wave are both your daily tool. I call them like your hammer. It's your thing that you use every day that's gonna help you get the most out of what you've spent on your cleansers and serums. And then the TMP is that extra fun thing that's gonna give you that plumping where you want it. Joseph says, can you use the Onmo when cleansing in the morning? Yes, I have many clients that love to do that and they do it in the shower. Absolutely. Sarah says, which eye product between Neogenesis and Emma Pell do you recommend for postmenopausal eyes with thin crepiness and hollow under the eyes? So I like both. So what you've got to do is first put on your Neogenesis eye serum everywhere, and then you put the Emma Pell on the orbital bone area. Because it's just, as we get older, you know when you were younger, you didn't have to use serums, right? You just put on a moisturizer and you were fine. Then you hit a certain age and you think, oh, I've got to start doing a little something more. So then you add vitamin C serum. And then you get a little older and you're adding vitamin C serum and some peptide serums and your moisturizer. Well, it's the same thing with your eyes. Just putting an eye cream on is often not enough. As we get older, we, we have to start layering our serums and our moisturizers with that. And the beauty of the Emma Pell products is they have that vitamin C in them, um, especially the, the Emma Pell serum. It has your vitamin C serum, but then it has all the other things you need to support. It has your peptides in it. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. It's got niacin in it. It's got all those things that really support aging. So if you put that on, on top of your recovery serum, I feel like that's just your perfect recipe for natural skin health for skin over 45. Okay, let's see what we got next here. Sherry says, how's the Hydrotox working with your husband? Okay, so he did two rounds of Hydrotox. He really loved it. I'm sorry I couldn't get him on here to talk to you guys, but this is what we found. He's got these deep, deep lines across here. When he uses it, it softens the appearance, but those lines, He's been making those looks <laughs> since he was a little kid. So those lines are never going to disappear on his face. And to be honest, he doesn't care about them. So after doing two rounds, he would keep doing it if I wanted him to because he's so great. Love him. But he's just like, you know, I don't really care whether or not those lines show up on my forehead. So right now, he wanted a new routine for me. So right now he's on the Neogenesis routine because he always loves Neogenesis. So he's doing the Neogenesis Recovery and Booster. Then he's putting on the Intensive Moisturizer. And then he's putting Barrier Renewal on top of it. And then he's putting on Eclipse Sunscreen or Extreme. We have both sitting there. I don't know which one he grabs. Extreme or Eclipse from his clinical. And that's his protocol that he's using every day. And he gets compliments on his skin all the time. I think people think he's younger than I am even though he's a year older. <laughs> so that's how the story is going with his Emma Pell. And let's see, where am I? Oh, 
You guys are getting ahead of me. I'll get up here. Here we go. Dee Dee. What is great treatment to treat puffy under eye bags and very dry skin? So it takes a holistic approach. Um, one of my very favorite things for puffy eyes, if you go on my website and look at the Lemieux TGFB eye masks, you can use those eye masks a couple times a week. It's a really nice mask that you just lay on the eye area. First you would put on the Neogenesis eye serum, then you put on the Lemieux eye masks, and leave it on there for 10, 15 minutes, take them off, and that puffiness is gone, especially if it's allergy related or that kind of thing. Now, if you have those mallard bags under the eyes that you've had since you were a child and maybe other family members have them as well, there's nothing that we can put on our face to take away that kind of a mallard bag. Um, surgery, surgery can remove it, that's it. So I'm just bringing that up because I never ever want to promise something to people that doesn't work or promise you know you put on these TGFBI masks and to take that away it's not going to work on that kind of a malar sac underneath the eye but if you have allergies um when i drink a little too much beer or i have a glass of wine it, in too much nowadays i don't know if you guys can relate to this but when you hit 59 one glass of wine is enough to make your eyes puffy the next morning so those um, masks on that eye area really work well for just completely depuffing that area. For um, dryness, very dry skin is you've got to get a really nice hydrating vitamin C serum on your skin. Um, Sorella's pomegranate acai antioxidant serum is one of the most advanced vitamin C serums you can get that's super hydrating. And then put a layer, layers, you need layers when you're working with dry skin. So then put on your Neogenesis and Intensive Moisturizer, which is going to get your skin that real drink and then put on Neogenesis Barrier Renewal on top of that so you're going to prevent that transepidermal water loss. So you've just got to layer things when you have really dry skin. And wash your face twice a day. <laughs> the Neogenesis Cleanser is super gentle. It's a perfect cleanser to use twice a day. If you have really dry skin, you've got to be getting that water hydration back into the skin and you can only do that if you wash your face. If you don't wash your face, your skin will be dehydrated. Okay, Valentina, what is the best product to use on your chin to diminish large pores after you exfoliate? Um, af large pores, so after you exfoliate, usually skin that's exfoliated, usually does the pores look smaller after you exfoliate. So I'm not sure what you're using, Valentina, but definitely you could use the Rare C Serum from Hale & Hush that is definitely going to take the swelling down on those pores and firm those pores up. Um, Rima says, with Emapel and Recovery, will Emapel and Recovery help with skin that is aging and loss of firmness? Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's what it does. It's amazing, really good for that. Uh, you could reach out to Art of Skin Care at my live chat and ask them for the Emma Pell Neogenesis Over 45 um, protocol, and they'll give you the protocol that I use for that. And all my clients that do that, all those that'll let me, I will. I show you guys their before and after pictures all the time because they are really, really remarkable. Okay. And then I'm on Sherry. I really don't know how to tell I have pores and how bad or good they are. Sherry, so you could get an evaluation. You could do the custom protocol at Art of Skin Care and we get to see pictures of your skin. So you can take pictures of your skin and we can look at it and we can tell you if your pores are looking droopy or if your skin's not breathing or if things are looking stagnant and we can help you with that because I know it can be hard to read that on your own skin. Um, I'm sensitive to it, you know, working in skincare so long, I can just be talking to someone and notice whether or not their skin is asphyxiated or stagnant or not. Um, but, you know, not in a critical way. I just always notice the condition of skin. <laughs> okay. Sarah says, could using the Anma over these serums be effective or worth doing? So the Anma 
not necessarily over the serums. I mean, to use your Anma, you've got to use some seed oil or you've got to use a gel so that you have that slide on the skin. The Anma is not going to help penetrate those serums in. So many people use the Anma, like I said, in the morning in the shower or do it at nighttime. At the end of the day, do your Anma routine um, before cleansing or after cleansing or in between two cleansing steps, um, maybe even with your pore cleansing oil, you could do it with that. So what the Anma is about is just releasing that facial tension that builds up, that chronic muscle patterns that build up. So you can see I have a really good chronic muscle pattern right here. <laughs> and we just want to release that tension there so that it does not get deeper and deeper um, it minimizes how deep those lines are gonna, gonna get. You know, nothing is gonna stop us. Nothing is gonna stop me from getting this line between my eyes unless I go get an injection, which I'm not gonna do. And I'm gonna get more lines as, as I age. Your guys are gonna get to see me get more and more lines everywhere. But um, the Anma is good for relaxing that tension. And when you use your Anma, I always have to do this. Every time I get the opportunity to talk about Anma, I have to tell you guys, Use this so gently. You don't get in and, and grind away on your skin. It's the weight of the Anma moving over the skin. It's like the weight of a nickel. So you're resting the Anma on the skin and then moving it. It's feeling very surfacy. That's how you release the fascia in the skin is with this really gentle movements of your Anma. It's not hard and it's not I mean, sometimes it feels good, right? We talk about that. Sometimes you want to do it harder on your head, but some people get headaches from doing it too hard on their head. It's really just the weight of the Anma, the natural weight resting on my scalp. I'll dunk down here so you guys see, and then it's just moving it around. That's how light the tension is. Recently, Jane um, reduced the size of this Anma. It used to be bigger. Some of you may have noticed that if you bought a new one. This new one is a little bit smaller, and I love it because it, it works even better. You can be lighter with it, and it just fits better to the size of your face. The area where I will sometimes use more um, pressure is if I'm working on my body, I get really tight on my shoulders or on my thighs. I will sometimes use more pressure on my thighs and then I'm not working on that light fascia. <laughs> I'm working on the deeper muscles just because it feels good. So that's my little lecture on the Anma. Alrighty. Ben, can you tell me where I'm at? <laughs> I'm so happy to have Ben helping me here. He's a big help for me. We've got a lot of questions come in here at the end. Kimmy is the next question. Kimmy again. Okay, let me go find you, Kimmy. Um, Dee Dee, Valentina, Sherry. Oh, could I use the Anma over ser serums? Sarah asked that, and Sherry said, I must have said somebody else was Sherry's question. She said, that's not my question. Sherry was, I really don't know how to tell if I have large parts. We did that one. Chris says, thank you, greatly appreciate this time with you. I'll add the wave to my wish list. You'll love it. Um, there's Kimmy again, here I am. Can I use the TMP if I have thyroid issues and colon cancer? Yes. Um, definitely check with your oncologist um, for sure, but we've never had any doctors, anyone say that our TMP is strong enough to do any damage to or affect the thyroid. It's just, it's not that strong. <laughs> so generally you can use it all over your neck without having to worry about that. But always, of course, check with your doctor just to be sure. Maria says microcurrent, MBK curve, and light stem. If I just wanted to stick with three devices for the rest of my life, are these ones good enough? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, you've got your microcurrent, you've got MBK Curve, which also has ultrasound. It has RF and ultrasound, and then you have your light stem. That sounds like a, a great balance. Um, 
Now, if for the rest of your life, I don't know because you know there's always new technologies coming out. So I I can't tell you for sure that that'll take you through the rest of your life with nothing else coming around, <laughs> being developed. There could be something, um, but you know, I hope so. Sherry says, "Oh, there's another Sherry, and the spelling is the same." Yes, two Sherrys. I thought so. Valentina says, "Your skin looks fabulous." Thank you, Valentina. Didi says, thank you for the info. I think the puffiness is from allergies and staying indoors too much. I never had them before. Yes, um, it can be from allergies and stagnation. If you're staying indoors a lot, be sure that you're still getting at least 10 minutes a day where you break into a sweat, where you really get your whole, your skin, all your whole system circulating. Get stuff circulating. Get your lymph moving, your blood moving. We all have to do that every day for at least 10 minutes to maintain a healthy body, mind, and skin. Okay, Jenny says, I use my Anma on dry skin, is that okay? It is, but it doesn't feel very good. It doesn't really have, you can get a little bit more pressure with your Anma, you know, it just drags. I wouldn't do it on dry skin. You could do it on wet skin, or I even find wet skin, it kind of squeaks. I don't like it on wet skin. I like a gel. Um, if you want something inexpensive, you can look at the Lemieux. Um, well, two things. The Lemieux Lavender Mask is a gel. The other one is the Lemieux Lavender Shea Butter Mask. A lot of people like to, with really dry skin, love to use that as their moisturizer at night. So you could put on the lavender, um, what's it called? Hyaluronic Shea. Lemieux Hyaluronic Shea Mask. Put that on, do your massage with your ama and then just leave it on all night. That will work great. Um, Sherry says, Gina, you're fabulous. Well, I love you too, Sherry, thank you. Um, Jenny says, thank you for not skipping over any of us. It is so appreciated. I don't, I don't ever mean to skip over people, but it's little tiny print and it's constantly moving so i'm glad you're patient with me as i scroll around and try and find where i'm at <laughs> um sarah is it possible to collect a lot of lymph in the upper legs and hips from sitting an extended time like in a wheelchair use um could this anma be good to work with that you know i'm not sure talk to your doctor or your physical therapist, because absolutely you can get edema and lymph and stagnation from sitting, whether you're in a wheelchair or just sitting at a desk all day, we can get a lot of stagnation in that area. So um, that one of my favorite things for that is the light stem for pain. It's on my website and I use that every day. I lay it across my belly for 20 minutes and then I have some hip and and knee issues, so I'll wrap it around one hip or a thigh um, for an evening. Um, my mother-in-law has lymphedema and she loves using that light stem for pain. Just really, that infrared light in that really helps to move toxins and move things through the skin, through the body, it's helpful. Okay, thank you for all the birthday wishes, you guys. Parvin says, Ben is amazing. Yay, Ben. <laughs> Fist bump. <laughs> did I miss anybody, Ben? That's it. That's it. We did them all. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for being here, and I will see you again next week. Till then, have a wonderful week. Bye-bye. <laughs>